Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, with another channel tarot card message for you today. We're going to be using the Gold Universal Tarot to pull in some messages from the spiritual divine. Messages in regards to career and love. What's next for you today? Make sure you come in liking, sharing, subscribing, adding value to the channel so that we continue to grow and that I can put out more of these channel tarot messages for you. Cross watchers, welcome as well. If the reading resonates, that's fine. Do not force the messages to fit. All right. We're going to get right into it, though, with your messages. Intentionally, let's see what the universe has to say in regards to love and career. How are you going to manifest what's coming towards you? All right. Let's get into it. A few more shuffles today. Messages for fire sign Sagittarius's. <laughs> Sagittarius's. What's next in love and career for you we'll redo that one more shuffle for good measure here all right grounding your reading today we have the knight of swords air sign energy someone has something to get off their chest here this could also be travel maybe some sort of a verbal competition here could be a message dm coming towards you here yeah sexual frustration burdens again traveling this could be war or competition weight loss possibly two of pentacles juggling here queen of pentacles Ooh, going from the two to the queen what is this someone's holding a bunch of secrets here not necessarily bad right they can have some sort of a hidden knowledge or something that they're trying to teach or pass down to someone. All right? Trying to help, uh, I don't necessarily say a shortcut. This could be mentorship, right? Overbearing or nurturing mother here, a teacher. Possibly a chef even. But definitely someone that owns their own business, an entrepreneur. A judgment call here. Could be a motivational speaker or professional speaker. Sort of like a TED Talk type situation here. Yeah, very strong, right? Mm-hmm. They have very strong intuition or they have very strong finances. They're very grounded. They're consistent and stable. They're an alchemist. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was competition. So someone's co competing for either a contract here. If this is in regards to career and success. Or they're competing for the affections of love of someone here. The high priestess, right? Of course, everyone will fight over a high priestess or a virgin. Mm -hmm. Clairvoyant. Now, this could be over. This could be. This could also be being overbooked if you have your own business or your or you're an entrepreneur, right? As a clairvoyant, <laughs> I recently experienced that sort of thing. I'm I'm only as of right now able to accept cash app payments, but I have people from Canada and Europe that are requesting reads. <laughs> So, I mean, the only people that I can actually accommodate or put first in line are people that are using Cash App. Mm -hmm. So, we're, I'm going to need to expand my options at some point, right? PayPal and that sort of thing. Zellies. Magician. Manifesting. Someone's manifesting abundance, right? Manifesting entrepreneurship. Manifesting a wife or a husband. Right? We have an interior decorator or this could possibly be someone that's into real estate. A nurse or a chef we have seven of swords hidden love here someone prefers their relationship to be kept secret maybe there was something that recently happened here I'm gonna have to get more of the message but we have a motivational speaker not being so motivational or they're not talking they're hiding something here yeah they're the hermit introspection now, this is uh, a strong sense of self-worth or a strong sense of self-value here, right? You get disrespected, you remove these people from your peripheral. See how much they're going to be waiting and how much burdens they're going to be carrying to get back into your good gracious. Right? This could also be with business, business right? Uh, having some sort of a standard in regards to your business practice. We don't let people in our business with, that don't have shirts or that's not wearing shoes or that sort of thing, right? There has to be some sort of a barrier of entry because people would do anything, right? Ruin your business, right? They're coming to your business and ruin your business, right? Again, a man, you know this, right? You're trying to break up with a woman and she busts out your house. Your 
what was it uh jasmine sullivan bust the windows out of your car right go to your mom's house and shoot the place up <laughs> that's how masculine women are nowadays right and this could be a testimony so we could be dealing with a comedian at this time traveling comedian telling their life stories mm -hmm. all right that's definitely a doorway into abundance right love right uh the more people can uh communicate with you or relate to you uh you're seeing more down to earth right you're seeing more accessible like letting down your boundaries right make sure you have them up though right again it has to be some sort of a barrier to entry or just anyone i'm getting a stampede just anyone could come in that's why we have stages for stage performers right and people have to watch them upward right we even see it here people looking up to the earth angel right getting whatever uh they're offering here maybe a singer or a dancer Let's see what else we have for sagittarius king of swords structure right a thought provoker or a thought leader could be dealing with a politician as well i'm getting a spiritual awakening here someone has very deep and vivid dreams they're going to need a dream journal here so that they can balance out their thoughts right practice grounding right turn your dreams into reality here manifesting you're going from the ten of the two of pentacles to the queen of pentacles let's see what we're clarifying here the four of swords Work hard, play hard. But this is how people coming towards you. Ooh. This is how people are coming towards you. There, uh, you could be a siren or something like that, or you're, uh, you have, um, you have a. I'm getting a lullaby. So you could be some sort of a. I'm not sure if you know multiple languages. It could be a voice actor. It could be an actor. Period. Cause there's a finesse here but i don't see it as being negative here yeah the love you're talking about love you're talking about opportunity you're, you're helping people or making people laugh right which is one of the best medicines so yeah you could be some sort of a poet this could be like open mic or something like that you could be dealing with a doula as well a nurse some sort of a teacher two of swords now this two of swords comes on on top of hermit and um strength so people uh i'm not saying yeah a comedian because it's almost like people don't take you serious but they value what you give out here <laughs> they don't see um it's like ugh. it's almost like they don't know the pain of celebrity or they don't know what it takes to um put together some sort of a performance or something like that right traveling i'm sorry training and that sort of thing um choreography and that sort of thing right someone think some people think that freestyling is a thing like i, I like to freestyle here <laughs> as you as you can tell i'm not very structured here <laughs> um but yeah there's a lot of talent here uh there's a lot of caring energy here as well here let's take a look major arcanas the hermit in virgo and also leo in the strength we have judgment libra we have Aries and Gemini here, and the Magician, Master Manifester, or Manipulator, however. Right? High Priestess. Very knowledgeable, have a wealth of knowledge here. Again, this could be a news anchor or some sort of a... Um, there's some sort of a professionalism here. Someone has some sort of a degree, an archaeologist or something like that. Or again, it could be some sort of a, an intuitive... A psychologist or something like that could be dealing with a possible clairvoyant or a tarot reader here as far as the high court cards we have a lot of them so you're being seen as very high value or a lot of high value people are coming towards you here maybe you work with celebrities here we have the king of cups the queen of pinnacles and the king of swords wearing multiple hats here to different people a father to some a mother to some a brother cousin sister to some right a shapeshifter right but also, again, like I said, people are coming towards you in this energy. What was at the bottom of the deck? Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're helping people. Uh, something to do with language. Maybe you're a language teacher or you're able to connect diverse and big groups of people together, right? Like a celebrity, a comedian, whatever the case may be. Maybe you're into music or, again, you're some, some sort of a motivational speaker like TED Talks or something like that. 
Maybe you have a social media platform that you disseminate, disseminate a lot of knowledge on and teach people. Yeah, some sort of an innate talent or innate skill here. We have 22 and 77. So divine timing, you have something within you to help bring people out of their comfort zone, right? To provide people with some sort of a clarity, even though they may not see it that way. It's like you're giving people medicine that they don't know that they're getting here, right? Mm -hmm. This could be like a serious comedian, <laughs> like a Joe Rogan or something like that. But that's what I have for you here today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one, Sagittarius. Peace.